Are you tired of that burning feeling of jealousy creeping into your relationship and making you question everything? Like inside your relationship, you don't turn police, always investigating, checking this phone, checking that, looking for things that are not there. In this video, I'm going to show you how exactly you can break free from jealousy and create a secure, thriving relationship that you deserve. First of all, do you trust your partner? Like trust is so huge, it's so fundamental to the success of every relationship that if there is no trust, if you do not trust your partner, to me, I believe that having a relationship or being in that relationship is just pointless. It's a waste of time because you need to trust your partner. Except, of course, you have a reason for not trusting your partner. Maybe they've cheated on you before. Or maybe they've done things that made you question the trust you have for them. Other than that, if your answer is yes, that you trust your partner, then I would say relax. There is no need for you to be jealous in any relationship. Because now you have decided to trust your partner. Trust is a decision that we make. You have to decide to trust your partner and say, okay, I believe this person and I trust them that they won't do anything that will jeopardize our relationship or betray the trust or betray the relationship itself. Okay, so trust is very fundamental. I know the funny thing is that trust is actually something that we do in our everyday life. For example, when you drop off your child in school in the morning, maybe a three-year-old, a very small child, you trust that school and their administrative team that they will be able to take care of your child and you will pick him or her up later on in the day in one piece. That right there is trust. Or maybe when you drive a car. First of all, before you even drive a car, you need to have trust in yourself and in that car that you're in it for it to take you to wherever you're going to and to serve you and not disappoint you. That right there is trust. And you also trust that the person coming from the opposite direction is not going to run into you and end your life and end your ministry, <laughs> end your career. Like, you know, you trust that. Even though the only thing that separates you from that person is just a thin line in the middle. And yet you trust that that person is sane enough, conscious enough not to run into you and just end it all for you. That right there is trust. So it means that we have the ability to actually trust. So if you can trust in all of this situation, then I think you can trust your partner. And the moment you begin to trust your partner, trust me, you're not going to feel jealous when maybe someone is making passes at your wife or your girlfriend, or maybe you hang out and people are just turning next, looking at her and making advances. You're not going to feel insecure because of that, because you trust her to do the right thing, because you trust him to do the right thing. Another thing is, look at yourself. Do you feel confident in yourself? Do you feel secured enough such that you believe that whatever is happening out there, you're not going to be bothered, you won't shake? Because you know who you are, you know the value you bring to the table, and you know that there are things you have that maybe cannot be seen out there. That is one thing that is also very important because most times people become like this in a relationship or maybe they become jealous because of these insecurities they feel. Because one thing I've come to realize is that no matter how beautiful or handsome you think you are, there is someone out there who is even more beautiful and handsome. No matter how gifted and talented and skilled you are, there is someone out there who is probably more gifted more talented and more skilled than you are. So the thing is, do you feel confident in your own skin? Let me liken a woman to a butterfly, for example. When you have a butterfly in your hand, okay, when you have your hand open like this, your palms open like this, and the butterfly is there, now the butterfly has a room to either stay in your palm or fly away. But the thing is, when you're feeling insecure in yourself, you tend to just close down. Now you close your fists, you close your palms together. And, and what that will do is that you will suffocate that butterfly and it won't be able to thrive like that because you're pressing down, feeling that when you allow it blossom, when you allow it fly or just roam about, you're going to lose it permanently. So because of that fear, that insecurity, you tend to just close down. And when you close down, what happens is that most times that relationship will be ruined. 
Because eventually when they have the slightest opportunity, they will run away from you and you won't see them again. Now the lesson here is that if it's a woman, for example, and you love her so much and you're secured in yourself, you'll be able to open your palm. And then if they want to fly away and go for good, fine. You're secured enough to know that if they go away and do not come back to you, you're still okay with that. Will it hurt you? Of course it will because you love them. But because you're so secured in yourself, you do not bother. You believe that they're going to be fine wherever they go to and you do not mind letting them go. And this is because you know that everybody is in your life for a reason, for a season or for a lifetime. So being a confident person and knowing who you are, understanding what you carry, you already know that anybody that comes into your life, you cannot regret whatever happens in the course of a relationship because you believe that being confident in yourself, you're not so attached to some things. You know, there's this mentality in northern part of Nigeria such that they do not attach so much to material things like anything that they did not come to this life with. If anything happens, the typical northerner will tell you that that is the way God wills for it to happen. They do not attach so much. And I so much agree with the northern mentality when it comes to mourning a loss. They believe that this is what God has willed. And they can't even break a leg. It doesn't mean that they didn't care for that person or they didn't care for that relationship or they didn't care for that thing that they have lost. It's because they are not so attached to it such that their life is going to stop on the account that they lost that thing. When you're confident and secured in yourself, in your own skin, understanding who you are and whose you are, of course, then you will not be attached to some things. If a woman is in your life and if you're in a relationship, you will not begin to be unnecessarily jealous and questioning everything. And you know, when you begin to press down on someone like that, that is when you see people setting rules that are not even attainable. You tell someone you cannot go to that job, you cannot speak to this person, you cannot be at that place. Why? Because you're feeling insecure, you're feeling jealous that maybe if this person has the opportunity to express himself or express herself, you're going to lose them in the process. That is what insecurity brings and that is what it causes. So the two key things here that would help you stop being jealous in your relationship is to trust which you have the ability to, like I explained, you have the ability to actually trust. All you need to do is to decide to trust and then feel confident in who you are. Know who you are and know the value that you carry. Like I said, no matter how talented and beautiful and everything you are, there is someone out there who is even more. But then there is nobody out there who is like you. We're all different and unique in our own individual ways. So accepting that and knowing that is going to give you that edge that you need. You won't feel insecure. You won't feel miserable. Some people, there are some relationships you see and someone is just feeling miserable. Nothing happened. But just because you do not have trust and you're feeling insecure about some things happening, it makes you miserable. Do you know that it takes a lot of effort not to trust someone than it takes to trust that person? For example, if I do not trust you in a relationship, like it's going to keep me on the edge. I'm always checking things when people are sleeping at night. I'm like snooping around, checking phones, checking emails, smelling cologne. And maybe, maybe when my husband is like looking a different way, I'm like, ah, why is he wearing this kind of strong perfume? <laughs> why is he dressed like this? Why is he like suddenly becoming like too fine? What's happening? He's taking extra time to shine his shoe, to just wear a wristwatch and all of that. It takes more effort for you not to trust than it takes for you to actually trust. So trust your partner. Feel secured in yourself, in your own skin, and you would never, never be jealous in a relationship. And in doing that, you're going to find the fulfillment and happiness that you deserve. My name is Wendy Zill. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this video, also check out this one on the screen. I'll see you there.